before my knee injury, I didn't have any any injury of that significance. Like I maybe like tore uh, my hamstring and that was about it. I didn't really have any season ending injuries. Like I had my uh, sophomore year here at Longwood. Uh, I tore my ACL the first time in practice. It was like the last five minutes of practice playing a, a scrimmage and um, I bumped knees with somebody, uh, hyperextended back and I just felt something popping my knee. ACL injuries are a rising phenomenon in sports. My name is Sam Norton, and women are up to 10 times more likely to tear their ACL than men. My mindset for the future would be just to rehab super hard and bring my knee to a state where it wasn't, it was weak. You know, like just to think that I could go down so easy. So I only came to the game, I didn't sit on the bench. I really can't move, you know, it takes me maybe 30 minutes to get to and from. Um, a little difficult getting in cars, you know, having my teammates give me rides because I can't drive. Um, for a while it kind of bothered me, like, because I was like, just not used to it. So, I mean, I guess you could say I was a little bit depressed. The emotions going through my head was I was just, I think I was just sad for the most part. Um, just hearing the news, I think my mom called me and she told me uh, I broke down. Uh, it was just, it was just a tough time for real. The the first time was really me kind of battling whether I was going to be coming back as strong as I used to be before or not. So that that's that's kind of what I was going through. Like, going through that, pro that that same process again was really mentally taxing just because I felt like I was ready to go, but my body, I guess, wasn't ready, ready to kick back again. Well, a lot of times um, people get very, uh, some people never want to return to sports again. And you don't want to go through the pain and, and aggravation and the hard work you have to do to get back playing sports. And it's a lot of hard work to get back. and. If you don't want to do that, you're not going to get back playing sports to the level you were before. You know? Up to 40% of people who go through ACL injuries are known to experience a clinically diagnosable depression called ACL depression syndrome. This depression is caused by the pain, stress, and monotony of going through ACL injury rehab. However, this can be relieved by daily exercise. Uh, I think it's, the work ethic you got to have is pretty demanding, I think. You got to be in the uh, gym or weight room or just rehabbing 24-7. ACL injuries are caused by cutting or suddenly slowing down and changing directions, landing awkwardly, suffering from a blow to the knee, or pivoting the wrong way. Some other possible causes of ACL injuries are playing on an artificial turf, not wearing proper sports gear, or having improper conditioning. I remember when I planted my foot, I immediately picked it up because I heard a, a really loud noise. And I was like, what is that? Like, I, I, I don't know what it is because I, I never experienced anything like that. And I was just thinking to myself, like, wow, this could be bad. I think the biggest thing is making sure they're not shutting down and staying away from everyone. They're still going to class. They're still seeing their teammates. They're still active and part of the team um, I'm a big fan of we're gonna still you're still coming to practice you're still we'll do rehab at practice and if you're a basketball player what can we do rehab wise to get a basketball in your hands can you stand there and shoot without jumping or bending your knees too much so it's not hurting the graft can we get you you know for a soccer player are you standing there throwing the ball in are you doing ab work using that ball you know things like that that are using your equipment so you still feel like you're part of the team 
One of the main reasons that women are more likely to tear their ACLs than men is how they land. Women are known to keep their legs straight when they land, while men are known to keep their legs bent when they land. The straight legs of women while landing make all the impact of the landing go straight to their knees, while the bent legs of men absorb the impact rather than letting it go to the knees. But in women's sports, it's quadruple, it's unbelievable the amount of ACL tears in women, especially women's soccer. It's, it's something about the, it's their anatomy, their physiology, and the way their knee and hips are that make it more prone to ACL tears. So women in sports, especially soccer, have a tremendous amount of increase in ACL tears. So there's been a lot of research done um, as to why ACLs are more common in females than males, um, and you will see a lot of different things that contribute to bony anatomy in females and the way their hips are developed and they have a, what's called a wider Q angle. Um, so it's how the femoral head, so your femur bone, your big thigh bone, comes into your hip socket. Um, on females, because we are set up naturally to give birth, our hips are wider than males. Um, muscle imbalances can do it, so you'll see a lot of times Males are bigger, stronger, faster than female athletes, and it will be dependent on um, their sports. In the beginning, it was hard. When I first came back, it was like, I was like depressed, like just watching them, like, oh, everybody's just running around. Like, I can't even lift my leg up. Like, so, I mean, now I kind of enjoy watching them. Um, it's fun being on the side, cheering them on, cheering them on. They cheer me on too. Like when they see me on the side doing rehab, they watch it every day. So you know, like they see what I can and cannot do, and they see what I, as I progress, and what I can do every day as I start more rehab and stuff like that. So they be like, yeah, Jay, yeah, Jay. Like, I mean, it's little stuff. So to me, I'd be like, oh my god. But like, you know, they just got my back. Um, so watching them on the floor, it's. It's fun to watch them and when they come to the bench, you know, tell them what I see, how I think that they can improve and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to do my part. I can't be on the floor with them, but I can cheer them on and I can help them out as much as I can. No matter what happens, no matter what happens to you or what's going on in your life, um, you can control what you can control. So uh, just being able to work out every day, get stronger, um, that's something you can, uh, can control. ACL injuries are very serious, but they can be prevented by proper training and conditioning year-round, learning how to properly land, bending your knees during said landing and pivots, and most importantly, proper leg and hamstring training frequently. I think towards the, towards the end of the season, um, I kind of started feeling like myself again, not really thinking about my knee. Uh, of course it would hurt every now and then, but it didn't really bother me because I know I'm 100% I'm, I'm and I'm playing the game that I love to play, so uh, yeah. I think all that mental stuff just went away and I'm slowly getting back to where I was.